Okay boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how you can draw your own scuba diver and we'll give you a handout as well but just watch the procedures and uh, use the handout as a great guide. So what we're going to do is we're going to do kind of a narrow upside down U which will be part of his arms or her arms. So I'm just going to go like this. Okay. Then I'm going to take an oval shape which is going to be the diver's head. I'm just going to put the oval there. And I'm just going to abandon that for a while. What I'd like to do then is to draw the aqua lung tank. And I'm just going to bring it up, curve it, and there. So what you can see, I've drawn three shapes so far, or I've done an upside down U, an oval, and this organic shape here for the tank. Now, I'm going to draw mitten hands. So very simple, I'm going to do a thumb, a mitten hand for the other four fingers. I'm going to bring it up to make a very small narrow wrist and then curve it round and it just actually links to the head like that. I'm going to go to this other arm. I'm going to do the same thing. Thumb, mitten, fingers, and then bring it round nice and tight and then go like that. Now, you can see I'm going to continue now with my pencil and I'm going to bring it up and start going in and create the legs. So I'm just going to go away. I'm going to make sure that I'm leaving enough room for his flippers. And then bring it round. And that's one leg. I'm just going to stop there so you can see. So he really is kind of stretchy and he looks like he's made of like out of a rubber band. Here I'm going to take this part and continue it as his knee, spring it round. Anatomically it's not very correct but you can see with all human figures there's no sharp angle so it's a very organic line. I'm going to go back to my scuba diver's head now and I'm going to continue just bring the line around like that and join it so it's now created a complete shape. So what I'd like to do now is just add in some features and details. So I'm going to just draw a scoop here and a scoop here. So this is a, is a flipper, this will be skin and then this is the bottom of his dive suit when I draw a little band here. I'm going to give him a belt and when scuba divers wear these dive belts, they actually sometimes have to put weights on them to keep them, like, to stay under the water at a certain level. And then I'm going to do with my features. So I'm going to make his mouthpiece. Okay, this is his regulator. Some little eyes. And a nose. There you are. And then the mask. So I'm just going to bring the mask out. Cover his nose. And bring it out like that and even though your guide shows a single line for the oxygen to go I'm actually going to double it and I'm going to explain why in a moment I'm just going to parallel those lines and take another set out like that okay and then just some more details on the dive suit and there we go you can add a little bit more detail if you want to, but this is as much as I want to do on my diver so far. So this is what we're going to do. Next thing, you're going to get some black paint and you're going to paint with tempera. And we're going to make it a little bit slightly watery so that it smooths nicely, a very fine paintbrush. And you're going to paint your scuba diver. Now I've got one that I've done already. Let me turn this paper over so you can see. And once he's painted in just his dive suit, we're going to get some chalk and add in the details of what you'd like to colour in. So I'm going to do is tank. I'm choosing yellow. Choice is yours as to what you want to do yours as. And then I'm going to make his mask blue. And the chalk actually gives it a nice translucent look as well. Okay? So. I'm going to continue to add some more details to that, but I want to move forward. So uh, once you've got him cut out, you have to wait for him to dry first before you cut him out. So while you're waiting for your scuba diver to dry, 
you're going to get some blue paper and a selection of chalks. Now we're looking at the colour wheel and the colour wheel is where we're looking at colours that are, are tertiary colours, the blues next to the blue greens, next to the greens and then yellow and yellow green and with the chalks you are going to see what I've done here is add wavy lines going from one side to the next, one side to the next. You see how my um, paper is going in the direction of portrait but then my lines are going horizontally. You can use the chalk on its side or you can do what I did and just use it on the point. And I used two variations of yellow, I used green, I used pale blue and I used white. So I've got these colours that all work together in my background. Then when my guy is uh, completely dry and cut out, I'm going to still add some more details to him. I'm going to place him there but also I'm going to give you a selection of painted and coloured paper. On the back of the painted and coloured paper I'd like you to draw some fish shapes and you're going to include those in the environment. Okay? So you can see what I'm doing at the moment. I'm actually placing my cutouts so I'm creating a lovely composition that I'm really happy with. Let me put that there so I've got a nice balance of these colours on either side and put this one up here so it's in the distance. It can go behind my little diver as well. And then I'm just going to finish off my chalk, glue it down, and finally, for a final um, finish, I'm going to actually brush lightly some Mod Podge on top, and that will seal it. But also, the Mod Podge is going to give it sort of like a wet um, look to it as well. So it gives it a slight sheen. And I'll be able to show that to you when it's completely finished, boys and girls. So now it's your turn. First, we're going to draw. If you draw lines and you make a mistake, don't worry because you're going to cut your diver out and also the black paint will cover any of those areas. So don't, don't panic, just keep drawing those lines until you get the lines that are working right for you. We don't need to throw that paper away. And follow the guide, follow the patterns that I've done for you and you should have an awesome project. Now it's your turn boys and girls. Let's go make a scuba diver.